Uh, let me start uh, start to introduce the roof tool in this tutorial. Um, double clicking the roof tool allows me again to have a look at the dialog box, which is set out set out the same way as uh, the 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 others. Um, the geometry of the roof, that is the height of the roof above the story you're in, the height of the roof above AHD. Uh, the type of roof construction you want. I'll look at those in more detail in a moment. Um, also, the uh, depth of the roof, which is controlled by the um, structural system you use, just like walls and slabs. There are what we call composite structures in roofs, where we can um, choose a particular type of uh, material or construction system or we can choose anything above that line let's pick airspace for example which then allows me to change the thickness of that of that uh, the plane of the roof I also have a choice to set the um, the perpendicular thickness from the angle of the roof or the vertical thickness and it does a little bit of tri trigonometry there and works out on the basis of the pitch of the roof what each of those would be. Yep. Um, that's the pitch of the roof, so let's say 32 degrees or something like that. Um, the materials of the roof, I can um, set up the uh, different roof sheeting. This is the uh, fascia of the roof. Let's make that uh, something else. Um, some sort of paint finish. Let's make it uh, glossy cream. Yeah, and that's the underside of the roof. We also have a layer that we can put the roof in into. We can show the roof over more than one story. So if I want to see the roof, say if I'm drawing it on the first floor, I'll be able to see it as a dotted line on the ground floor. But I'll leave it here for now. Um, with most of those things set up, I can go through the three. There's two main types of ways we can set the roof up. In this one, um, there are three methods. Uh, this one being the most simple, I can firstly draw a springing line. That is um, where the roof actually springs off the wall from. So if I was to quickly set up a rectangular wall, over here um, and show you how a roof, simple roof might sit over the top of it. So in the roof tool, um, this simple method allows me to firstly draw a springing line. Now in a double brick wall, the springing line is usually off this uh, outside face of the inner skin and it would say stretch out in this direction. The eyeball asks me which side of that springing line the roof inclines up so I click this side of the springing line and then the next thing I draw is the plane of the roof and that's this rectangle here and I can uh, let's just draw it to here and use the marquee as we talked about in the last tutorial generate a 3D view using F5 fit to window I can see the plane of that roof sitting over my walls. Okay. Now, if my wall is, uh, say, 2.7 metres high, and if you remember, that's how high that wall was, then I can also make my roof spring at 2.7 metres high. I can double-click the roof tool or click this button here once, and I can set the height of my roof at 2700. Okay. Um, and you can see that roof has been uh, set up at that angle. I can select that roof. And I can do a number of uh, changes in 3D. I can automatically change the pitch of the roof, for example. So I can adjust the height of the roof like this. Um, I can also extend the edges of a roof out in 3D. So I can drag it out and hit tab on the keyboard, drag that single edge out, uh, 
and say make it an extra 500 millimeters long okay um, if I click on a corner I can extend using this option all four corners at the same time so I can hit tab and type in 500 and it will extend all four corners of my roof out okay um, so that's the simplest version of a roof, a simple skillion that's rectangular in shape. Okay. Um, there is an alternative to that, and that's this shape here. So let's go to the roof, uh, this one here. Now what I can do here is, again, I need a springing line. So let's put a springing line in there, so that to go this way. This time, uh, every time I click the mouse, I can change direction. So I can create a roof shape that's more unusual. Okay. Um, so a skillion roof again, but not a rectangular skillion, but a non, a more complex shape that looks something, say like that. Uh, so it has an unusual shape and again if I change the pitch or the uh, height of that roof to 2700 okay, and change the pitch of that roof to something like 5 degrees you can see that it's sitting over the top of my building. Okay, obviously not fitting the shape of my walls, but nonetheless, there's a, a skillion roof that's not quite uh, rectangular. Mm -hmm. 